as you can see, I've been really training my strength lately. Ah, nothing like a good clean and jerk. As you may know, I recently got my hands on this beautiful strength cape and actually also the Wilderness Sword 4, an achievement unlocked from completing all four Wilderness Diaries up to Elite. And I have to say, I look absolutely smashing. And I actually got 99 strength on my newer account two years before I got it on the OG. Not sure why I did that, but anyway, they both have 99 strength now. Pretty cool. Now I have two 10 hit point <laughs> Iron Man PKing accounts that each have 99 strength, and it's incredible. <laughs> Though what's not so incredible is the fact I have to do farm runs all the time to fund the supplies on the account. And look how cute this is. I'm doing farm runs on both accounts at the same time. I just follow one after the other. And yeah, I just think it's very cute. But you might be wondering what else this stinky little nerd has gotten up to. Well, I safe spotted lots of Spooter boss before the Wilderness boss rework came out, did some Chambers of Zarek to try to get the Dragon Claws, and uh, unlocked some combat achievements, collected some Cave Nightshade, and also blocked anybody I could from getting that one last man standing win they so desperately craved. Anyway, there's some other cool stuff I've been doing on my main, but I'll show you that later. For now, I thought I would impart my knowledge on how to be a stinky little nerd to all the rest of you. Now, I made a guide on exactly how to do this five years ago, but it looks like it was edited by a monkey with an iPod Nano. Do people even have those anymore? So fast or slow, intense or AFK, here are all the strength methods I've tried and tested while making the most powerful RuneScape account. And I'm confident there's some weird underground information in here you've never heard about before. So you're gonna wanna watch the whole video for those as well as learn how to make the world's most powerful RuneScape account. So the first thing you wanna do is complete X marks the spot. This is a novice free to play quest, so maybe even you can do it. Complete the quest for an antique lamp, which will award you 300 experience in any skill of your choosing. Choose strength. And fortunately enough, X marks the spot is a prerequisite to Client of Karend, which is the next quest you want to do. Once again, a very easy quest that requires you to kill no monsters. If you finish this quest, then you get two 500 experience lamps. That's a thousand experience towards your strength level. And now you've gained nine strength levels already. All right, you just have to do that 10 more times and you've got maxed strength. Maybe not so fast though. The next step is to do pyramid plunder. I was watching some thieving guide like 10 years ago and I saw Autumn Elegy push a sarcophagus and he got strength experience without getting any hit points experience and I was mind blown. Reminder back in those days, it was not common knowledge on how you'd train strength without gaining hit points XP. You can push these sarcophagi at level 1 strength, but you will need higher thieving if you want to get the max XP rates. Regardless, even if you're at 21 or 31 thieving, this is the best way to go to get from level 10 strength to level 15 strength. You're only going to get a few thousand strength XP per hour, but at the top levels after 91 thieving, you can expect up to 22,000 strength XP per hour. Of course, that's only if you're pushing sarcophagi. If you actually want to train thieving at the same time, then you're kind of getting some passive strength XP. You'll probably get 250,000 thieving XP per hour and 8,000 strength XP per hour. Also, these mummies can't hit tens, so as long as you bring food, you should be fine. Now, if you have 17 hunter or more, you can access Puro Puro through these crop circles. You don't have to do the Lost City quest to access Puro Puro, which maybe you didn't know before. Though perhaps this information will only be useful if you're actually interested in catching implings, because as you're about to find out, the strength experience you can get from Puro Puro is not very much. <gasps> a crop circle! Took me a while to find, but here it is, one of the very rare crop circles, and I'm gonna go ahead and enter it now. Nice. And apparently allows me to push through with the wheat faster because I found one of the rare crop circles. So this strength method might actually be worth it. <gasps> Wait, I didn't get any strength XP. I'm not getting any strength XP. They removed the strength XP. <laughs> uh, I guess they want skillers to be able to do this. That's so strange. Oh, but you can turn strength XP on. Oh, there you go. So they actually buffed this strength method by allowing you to get farmer's affinity, which allows you to push through the wheat faster. So this is like double as fast as it used to be. But pyramid plunder is still way, way better. I'm just showing this method to be thorough. 
Other methods that technically can give you strength experience, but just aren't worth doing, are cleaning these fossils in the Varrock Museum for XP lamps, opening up the southern and northern heavy doors in the Warriors Guild, which for some reason give varying levels of experience, depending on which door you open. Sometimes they don't give experience at all, and the northern door for some reason gives you up to 11 experience, but the southern door only up to 1. Another method is hunting down dark relics from Chambers of Zarek. Now these dark relics from Chambers of Zarek do actually give you 150 times the experience of whatever level skill you have. So at level 70 strength, you could get 10.5k strength XP from a single dark relic, which sounds really good but it's just simply not worth going for on a low HP account. The only reason I'm doing Chambers of Zarek on my main is so I can get that Grandmaster task of getting the sub-17 Cox solo. And as you can see, it's going really well. Perfect. Hey, and it's done, okay. I still have lots to learn and need to cut down my time by a lot, you could say, to get my goal of 17 minutes. But do I get a dark relic? Oh, it's Enlisted with a sponsored message. Download Enlisted today with the link in the description. Enlisted is a new kind of first person shooter that uniquely couples PvP with PvE combat and offers multiple campaigns, each featuring their own unique weapons, vehicles, and equipment, from the outskirts of Moscow in 1941 to the heart of Berlin in 1945. Campaigns in Enlisted are so varied they offer a new experience every time with unique equipment, uniforms, vehicles, and locations true to their historical time frame. I find it so exciting when there are so many enemies on the battlefield you have the choice of mowing down with an entire arsenal of vehicles and artillery. Play now on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, or the previous console generation. In fact, with my link in the description, you can claim a free bonus pack for registering, including multiple weapons, soldiers, and a premium account. After 15 strength, and what a lot of people like to do is do fishing. Barbarian fishing, to be specific. Because barbarian fishing here grants fishing XP primarily, but you also get about 1 11th of that experience towards both agility and strength. At 70 fishing, you can expect just less than 4,000 strength and agility XP per hour doing this method. But if you have 70 fishing and are doing tick manipulation, you can expect 6,000 strength and agility XP per hour. And of course, those rates go up the higher your fishing level. I guess 303 is the new blast pump world. Let's see how many people are here right now. Use 241 more options. So I think that means there are like 80 people here. Let's see if I can get in the pile. So this is about 12,000 strength XP per hour. Oh no. And he's disappeared. That's how many people are here right now. <laughs> I leaked this method like five years ago, and ever since then, there's just been a ton of people, but there's still a lot more than I expected. Look at this. This guy has a sick account. Iron Man 32 Combat with a Dragon Warhammer. This guy got so lucky at Shamans. I was inspired by you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Got so lucky. Yeah, you did get lucky, bro. He only has 63 ranged. He got it below a thousand kill count. Oh, you lucky dog. Now, I wouldn't have said this a few years ago, but Blast Pump is definitely my favorite strength training method on this list. And the reason for that is because it is so AFK. I can play other accounts or edit videos or watch videos while just chilling on this account. And with this new plugin that allows you to AFK for 20 minutes, this method just allows you to sit back, relax, and gain that passive strength experience. Because this is so AFK, I have half a mind to start up like a whole dozen other 99 strength accounts. Who knows what I'll use them for? I could make a hardcore, an Iron Man, an ultimate, I, I don't know. It would just be an interesting idea. Now, an interesting method that wasn't in my previous guide and isn't in a lot of 10 HP combat guides is the method of doing Soul Wars. Soul Wars awards zeal tokens, which can be redeemed for experience. Now, on a low combat account, you're not necessarily going to be raking in the zeal compared to a regular account. In fact, you'll probably get a half or a third of normal. So that's why some people have opted to do dolo boosting. Here in a video by Hip Hop, he demonstrates how he's been boosting his 10 HP Iron Man to get zeal points. Apparently, he's been getting 300 zeal per hour, which is a lot more than you could expect from playing the minigame normally. But if he was at 70 strength and redeemed all 300 zeal, he would only get 72,000 strength XP. 72,000 XP in one hour, that's really not a lot. Is it worth all the time and coordination? Not in my opinion.
It's also put up to question whether or not this is allowed according to Jagex, but I thought it should be included because people are clearly doing it. Now, pest control just got a buff in a really strange indirect way. Because combat achievements are now point-based, 10 HP accounts can actually unlock the easy and medium combat achievement rewards. And the easy rewards give you one more commendation point per pest control game, and the medium rewards give two more commendation points, buffing this method by 67%. And it's actually pretty AFK if you have Candor and Headgear, which gives you two logs with each chop of the tree. And all you have to do is repair some barricades and doors, and you're well on your way to getting those five commendation points if you've unlocked the medium combat achievement rewards. And you might be able to get 70,000 strength XP per hour at 70 strength. So this really isn't too bad a method anymore. Granted, you really do have to do those combat achievements to make it worthwhile else you might want to do the method I'm going to talk about next. Now the next method is in the Warriors Guild on the second floor. And of course how you really have to start this is by going through this northern door because it gives more experience on average. Ooh nine I got lucky there. And the next thing to do is go through this door here and pick up a keg. Though I may need to relieve my hands and head. Okay there we go. Now the strength XP you get from this will depend on how much energy you have and your strength level. The higher both of them are, the more experience you get. And what you really need for this method are energy potions. And you can actually get a lot of strength XP per hour, about 60,000 to 70,000 XP per hour at 99 strength, and of course less than that at lower strength levels. So if you're looking for a pure experience, this is definitely the way to go if you're not looking to AFK like a blast bump. The alternative is doing shot put, throwing these shots uh, over there as far as you can, but it's just simply less XP per hour. So it's really not worth doing at all. And to more thoroughly demonstrate this method, I've brought out the supplies you might wanna bring when you're doing it. Now, unfortunately you can't wear the graceful gloves or the graceful hood, but you can wear the rest of the graceful outfit to get a slight increase on your energy recharge. Whenever you get a strength XP drop, your energy will go down. So that is when you wanna drink a super energy pretty much as soon as you see that because you want to keep that strength XP as high as you can. And something that's not really too useful at all is doing the Lumbridge and Drainer Easy Achievement Diary to get the Explorer's Ring, which you can recharge your energy with. But for the most part, you're just gonna be using these super energies, and when the barrel falls off your head, you will take damage, so it's best to have some food as well. Now, among crappy guides I've made in the past, I did make a Tackling Shazian Gang Guide, which was 130,000 strength XP per hour back when I made it. And yeah, you could get that experience rate on 10 HP accounts completely legitimately. But that was back when server latency caused gangs to spawn in the same place at different times. Now they're all synced up, they spawn in the same place at the same time. So once you've killed one gang, you only really have time to hop worlds once and then kill one more gang. They only stay in that spot for five minutes. And then you have to wait for a whole nother hour until another set of gangs spawn. So I'm not sure why Jagex made this change, but it seems to be a system-wide change that affects crop circles as well. And we're not sure exactly when it happened, but we're pretty confident it started last year. So although gangs were amazing, not just for experience, but also resources for construction, cosmic runes, crafting supplies, now they're just simply too slow for all of those things. And it's best to stick with the other methods you've seen in this video. But I've already got 99 strength on my accounts. So I don't need to do these methods like you losers. I'm off to go get the sub 17 solo raid. No, so bad at the game, so bad. Now a reminder from the sponsor. Looking for the same excitement as getting a sub-17 solo raid, but without the effort? Join the thrilling variety of campaigns offered by Enlisted, and click the link in the description below to claim a free bonus pack, including multiple weapons, soldiers, and a premium account. And thanks to Enlisted for sponsoring.